Hello, today I'm going to be telling you what I bring in my carry-on luggage. I have a flight coming up soon in May and I get to carry two bags um, with me. I get, I'm allowed a sort of handbag, rucksack, laptop bag type thing and I'm also allowed a small carry-on suitcase. So I'm mainly just going to go through the things that I would like for every flight that I ever go on, um, just so that it makes it all a little bit covers covers all bases rather than just like long haul or short haul or like in between. So yeah, let's go. The first thing which is very important is obviously your passport. Now I carry um, my passport in a passport holder, and I'm also going to be carrying it within a travel wallet as well. So everything. Um, that I'm going to basically need on the day of the flight will be in here from things like book and confirmation numbers, um, a little bit of cash, um, my ID, my passport, boarding passes, that sort of thing, so that I don't have to keep rummaging through all my bags collecting all these different bits and pieces. So I know that sometimes when you go and cash out when you're in duty free and when you're in um, the uh, departure lounge, that you want to see your boarding pass along with your passport. So. Having that all in the same location saves a lot of time and a lot of like juggling around trying to find everything that you want. The next important thing that I have to remember is my phone. You can't really go anywhere without a phone unless you're one of those people that don't have a phone because it's got all of my travel details on it, from my emails and stuff, access to social media, my music is all on here, so it's all very important stuff that I can't not go without. To go along with my phone because of the music, I'm gonna be having my Beats headphones. These are ones that I actually got um, with my phone. They came as a little package. So these are plug-in ones, um, and they're really good, they're really good quality. So yeah, a good pair of headphones on a flight is very, very important. The next thing that is important that I will be taking with me is the camera, the camera that I'm currently using so I can't show you. Um, I have a Nikon Coolpix A900 with a flip out screen. I'll be taking that with me because I'll be obviously vlogging and taking pictures and everything. Um, along with the camera, I'll be also using this sort of grip pod. It is from um, iGadgets. I got it on Amazon. It's super handy, super useful and really, really, really worth the money that I spent on it. It wasn't even that expensive actually, it was pretty cheap. Next is a liquid bag. I have just a normal plastic pocket for liquids. I do have some things though that have fallen out of the bag. Um, so basically, for any flight, some deodorant, because you never know whether or not you're gonna be delayed and you may just need a little bit of top up. Um, I find, out that I find that I dry out a lot on flights, so having some hand cream is really useful and having some um, hand gel, which, because everything feels really dirty when I'm on the flight. And this is from Body Shop, it's lovely, it smells really good. Um, I have some face cream as well, I've got some dry shampoo, I've got some lip balm, and I also have um, just like a body fragrance as well. Just quickly spritz in if I'm feeling a little bit gross. What I also like to bring with me is some um, Tic Tacs, mints, gum, something of that sort because I'm going to be on a long, um, it's a nine hour flight the one I'm going on and I won't always want to just get up and brush my teeth um, so maybe popping a Tic Tac or a mint would be really hand handy for me as well. I do also try to pack a hairbrush, this is a compact hairbrush with a mirror. Um, in this little pack here, there are a bunch of bobby pins, hair, pin, um, hair ties, elastic ties, and there are some plasters in there as well. To go with all of my electronics, I'll be bringing my phone charger, um, my camera charger, a portable charger as well and just making sure that everything is all topped up the way that it should be. Another way to keep fresh is just having a little handy pack of wipes um, and I've got some, this is the bag that I've got here that I'm just pulling random bits out. I've got some paracetamol in here, allergen tablets, tissues, I've got like an eye mask for when my eyes start to get really baggy and gross and horrible. 
What I think is quite important to remember is bringing um, a pen or a pad. I've got a notepad and I have a pen because on the other side of uh, the long haul flight sometimes you have to write a little customs card. So just having a pen to hand is really important so then you don't have to keep wandering around going, who has a pen? Can I have your pen? Can I borrow your pen please? Having one of your own is super duper helpful. Because I'll be going away for two um, whole weeks and because I'll be vlogging quite a lot, I am bringing my laptop with me so that I can transfer any of the footage that I'll be filming that day to free up memory space on uh, my memory cards. However, I will also be bringing some spare memory cards, spare batteries, those sort of things to all go along with my camera. Sometimes on a long haul flight, it's really quite a good idea to bring spare clothes or at least spare underwear because if you get delayed or if you're going from a quite cold country to a hot country, like for me, I'm traveling from the UK through to Orlando so the difference in temperature weather is going to be insane so I have thought about packing just a pair of shorts and a t-shirt that I can change into in the, in the airport if I feel need to. I think, I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> My very quick run through of the sort of things that are important to me when I'm on a flight Obviously, when I'm in an airport, I will be picking up like either a magazine or a book or um, a pack of sweets, something like that, because it's going to be nine, ten hours of a flight. I will need to nibble and chew and read something, because otherwise I'm going to be going through all my music on my phone and all the entertainment on the flight, and I'll probably just get a little bit, little bit bored by the end of it. So having lots of options is really good. Um, having lots of things to distract yourself if you're not very good with flying, like, I'm better than I was, but having music, having the fact that I will have a book or something, I do have um, a DS as well I could play with. My fiancé will be bringing um, our Nintendo Switch as well, so we can also play a little bit of that. Yeah, anything that you can do just to pass the time is really important to bring with you. Um, and just remember to stay hydrated on a plane and try to be as comfortable as possible. I bring some fluffy socks, um, you know, eye masks, like sleeping eye masks if you want, earplugs, just to try and eliminate as much noise and distractions as possible so that you can have a decent flight and if you need to get a little bit of sleep as well. I hope someone found that useful. Um, if not, I'm sorry. I'm sure there's a load of other suggestions in the little box next to me of people um, talking a bit more in detail about what they pack. Um, but if you do find it useful, please give it a thumbs up, please um, subscribe if you'd like to, comment, whatever. Um, and yeah, I will see you again very soon.